Hello and welcome back Team Bedrock, this is your host TNC Cuban and today, today, we are on another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 1. Oh yes, yes, yes we are. So, if you guys remember from the last episode, which was uh, basically us getting the repair shop set up and kind of getting up going and kind of got the XP kind of repair station, like, you know, foraging station <laughs> all working. Yeah, so definitely check it out. That was actually pretty cool and it's actually a pretty nice build what we got over there in the shopping area. And we also did do a live stream of basically what's right here behind me. <laughs> so I know we talked about upgrading the gold farm in the last episode, so well, we decided to do that on the live stream and that's what we're doing right here. We're also going to be trying to get this finished up because we kind of dug out a little bit right there and all right there and then we kind of built this up all the way up there <laughs> but I wanted to get at least what one two three four portals up on that side and I want to try and get four portals up on this side so yeah hopefully we'll be able to get some better rates from the gold farm because we actually were able to do this from what we had left over which was about one choker full of obsidian so if we come down here right down here where all my other boxes and stuff is and we take a look right here in the ender chest we actually have one two three four five shulkers full of obsidian so yeah yeah, I think we might be able to finish this off pretty big and actually be able to get a pretty good amount of gold from this farm compared to the other one. So yeah, we should definitely be rolling in some gold here pretty soon and hopefully be able to get a beacon pretty soon so that way I can mine out some more obsidian because I do plan on making this a lot bigger than just, you know, four on this side and four on that side. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crack on and I'm going to go ahead and start placing down all of this obsidian into nether portals so that way we can start to get some more zombie pigmen going. Now that is not looking too bad. Now I did decide to go five. So one, two, three, four, five high on both sides, just so that way I can kind of have that extra. And so it reaches <laughs> possibly closer to sky limit, but I actually want to do six because when I was looking at it and I was kind of measuring out like how far I would need them to drop down to die. Um, I do want to dig it out all the way down to bedrock, but I figured if I was going to do that, and this being at Y60, we can actually go down one more portal down because it's 21 blocks tall. So I figured I can go down one more. Why not? So I want to dig this out. However, I don't have a beacon and... Uh, you know, <laughs> as much digging as I've done so far <laughs> without a beacon, uh, this is this is quite quite tedious. And don't get me wrong, efficiency five is great. I just wish I really had efficiency uh, five with the beacon, so I can have the insta mine. <laughs> yeah, insta mine would be definitely nice. So I'm gonna see if we can head over to the shopping district. I haven't been over there in a while. So let's go see if there's anything that's changed and see if I can actually get a beacon set up over here so that way I can make this a little bit quicker. Plus, it's about time for us to get a beacon anyways, guys, don't you think? I mean, we have an Elytra flying around with rockets and stuff. So yeah, I think it's about time to get a beacon. Although this isn't too bad of a deal, I really just don't wanna rent a beacon. Like, it just, I'm just not gonna rent a beacon. <laughs> So let's see if we can get everything set up so that way we can actually get our own beacon gathered, get some wither skulls, and then go from there. Because yeah, this this is not <laughs> this is not ideal. I'd rather just have my own beacon completely instead of just renting it. Because that just to me it's just it's just a waste. That's just a waste. And in case you guys didn't know, right over here I've got where <laughs> somebody put <laughs> creepers. Careful, because I started trapping and and you can't really see. Here, let's let's dig out this block. Yeah, I've got. Well, there should be more charged creepers, but there's one that isn't charged, and there is one that is charged. And I think there's actually another one. There should be about four in here because I did take out one, which was the fifth one right over there. But anyway, so I got a couple of charged creepers right here, and what we're gonna do with these charged creepers is actually get them out of here. Which well, I've already gotten one out. I only want one at a time, <laughs> but get this charged creeper out, and then we're gonna see if we can take him down over to the. Um, 
the snow area. I, I don't know if you guys seen <laughs> Silence videos of how he was getting a bunch of beacons, but yeah, I've done that before actually on season zero. That's actually how I got the weather skulls on season zero. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, see if I can get this guy through <laughs> that portal, through another portal over by Tis Tom's base, and into a, I guess, kill zone exploding zone whatever <laughs> to see if i can get some strays collected and get a uh, few uh wither skulls because yeah this is gonna be <laughs> hopefully not explosive until i want it to be i don't want you to explode mr creeper please don't explode okay push you okay there you go you go through there, yeah, go through those set of blocks. I didn't want to waste a lot of iron, so I don't have a whole lot of rails. So we're doing this very slowly. <laughs> but hopefully, everything should work out just fine. Yeah, I didn't quite make that happen very well. <laughs> Oh, you're going to have to do round two because since their server is going to restart anyways, we're going to have to reset all this. Oh, my goodness. And take two. We got the creeper through to the other side. Whoa. Ooh. That was scary. <laughs> okay. Let's break this block because what we're going to do is we're going to throw down the boat so that way hopefully we don't get a pigment in there along with it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, he went back through the nether. No. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's go back through silence portal. <laughs> and hopefully yeah hopefully we don't have any other issues <laughs> this is silent wants to sit there and shoot at me I'm just trying to get a creeper through the portal <laughs> come on Mr. Creeper come back on through this way there you are there you are no 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 you gotta go through the portal come this way and boom okay now Hopefully Silent doesn't try to kill us again. Well, he probably will. <laughs> if I crouch fly, he can't see me. Because I'm crouched, right? Is he going to shoot at us? He can't see us. Oh, no. He saw me. <laughs> I guess crouch flying didn't work. All right. The creeper should be right there. Okay, yeah. Let's get him in the boat. Let's get you in the boat. Come on, guy. Come this way. Come this way. And this way. And this way. And stay in that boat. Nice. And let's block your view. Perfect. Now we need to go over to Tiz Tom's area so that way we can make sure that that portal is all set up. Because I don't think... No, he's not online. So I can set up his portal so that way I can get that creeper to go through without him <laughs> blowing anybody, I guess, up. Hopefully, anyways. All right. We have successfully made it. But it looks like he got out because I forgot to place those blocks correctly. So, yeah, let's see if we can run away from him real quick so he stops following us because I need to get him in a boat. Yeah, okay. Let's get you in. Actually, we need to get you in a minecart. Let's see if we can set up the minecart system because we need Mr. Charged Creeper to come right into this hole right there. Yeah, that one. Hello, Mr. Charged Creeper. Yes, please come this way. I have a minecart with your name on it. You come this way. Into. There you go. There you go. Go right in there. Sweet. That went a way smoother than I expected it to. <laughs> Let's cover you up. Yeah, we don't want you going off by accident. Where we are at right now is if you can look through these oak fences, we have, uh, I would say, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like, possibly, hopefully, two, four, six. Yeah, it looks like we have six in there. So that is two beacons that we can get from that one charge creeper. And he is actually all set and ready to go. I just need to break the mine cart that's down there. Break that mine cart, light them up, and we are good. But one thing I want to try to do before we actually do that is let's see if we can get ourselves a creeper head. So we're going to take this creeper that's chilling in this boat. We're going to put him in there. <laughs> and if night falls and I can get a zombie, maybe I'll try and get a zombie head too. So let's see. Can I break this boat without you seeing me? I just want to break the boat without you seeing me. I 
can smack the block, but I can't smack the boat. Come on. This is... <sighs> Come on, Minecraft. I guess this is the only way to break the boat. Oh, I didn't want to smack him, but that's okay. Come on, guy. Come follow me. Now jump up here. There you go. Oh, oh. I think I did that wrong. I could do that. Okay. Open that one and that one. Awesome. Perfect. So now we will have ourselves a creeper head. Cool. Oh, okay. Now, so Mr. Creeper's in there. I don't want those guys to see me. Uh, let's see. Can I place that there? No. Well, let me place that block there. I don't want you guys to see me. No. Right there. There we go. You guys ready for this? This is like the best part. <laughs> Free Wither Skulls. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> All right. And we just light. Mr. Guy on fire. There we go. Run away. Awesome. Look at this. Skulls. Six. Yes. And a creeper skull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Easy peasy. Beacon squeezy. That, that doesn't make any sense. I know. <laughs> and the next step is to take and turn all of these wither skulls into nether stars. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just head straight to the same place that Tis Tom and Silent had already kind of broken the portal because I don't want to break multiple end portals in the end dimension because, well, I don't know, somebody might want to use them instead of, oh look, there's a boat. I wonder if that's been raided. Let's stop by here real quick since we kind of just seen it. <laughs> okay, yeah, everything's gone. Couldn't have been that lucky. All right, so yeah, the location that we are going to is 23,073 by negative 22. Look, there's skulls right there <laughs> just flying through the sky. Uh, where are those coming from? It looks like they're coming from this direction. That's weird. I don't even think that's the... Uh, Oh, wow, there's a lot. Is there one over here that I didn't know about? Oh, look, there is a gateway. Wow, I don't know who opened up this gateway, but I'm going to use it. <laughs> and awesome, we got our little wither spawning platform all set up. We've got it facing west, which is the right direction. That's the way it's supposed to be facing. Let's go ahead and grab our skulls real quick. One, two, and let's get away. <laughs> Place. Okay, get away, get away. <laughs> we don't wanna, we don't wanna get withered. Okay, yeah, that should kill him. Yeah, he's in, he's in a death spot. Yeah, there you go. There you go, we're gonna stay right over here. Just keep an eye on him. Awesome, nice, last explosion. Come on, come on. Sweet, let's go collect our reward. And there's that beauty right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that guy. Sweet nether star. All right, let's build this up again so that we can get the second beacon. Two nether stars, guys. Check that out. I am super excited. Now, before we, you know, have the possibility of a chance of losing them, and that's why I'm wearing the pumpkin skull just because of, you know, I didn't want to take chances. <laughs> <laughs> let's put this stuff away. Yeah, let's let's put this stuff away like right away. Let's craft these two puppies up. Oh yeah, there's one and there's two. Oh man, this is nice having these beacons again. I can't believe I waited so long to do that. That didn't even take me that long to do. <laughs> now the only thing I'm short on is the amount of blocks that we need in order to actually create a beacon. Oh. All my gold blocks have been basically sold or in the carrot shop. <laughs> so let's actually go back to the shopping area and see if we can get uh, some beacon bases from DB's shop. I think he sold out, but we're going to see if we can actually get a token to get enough emeralds from over there to actually utilize his, uh, his, his setup that he's got. Because we're definitely going to need uh, more blocks for this. Uh, so I've never used DB's raid tokens before, and it appears that we have to go through the nether into his base because, yeah, this is 
how it all works. So hopefully, I don't know if maybe we can use it more than once. Because, yeah, all of his beacon bases are gone. And these are nine diamonds, which I just bought one. So, yeah, let's let's go check this out. What is this? Negative, negative 96 in the blue tunnel. Yeah, let's go check this out. Hopefully, we can use this more than once. So that way, we can actually get those emeralds. Because there's no emeralds to buy. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have DB's cat to keep me company. The Phantom's Menace. <laughs> oh, to keep the Phantoms from hitting you. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> At least I have some company. Hello. <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Our first beacon. He's two. Oh yeah, look at that. We can even swing and wave fast. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and this didn't even take that long. It only took like what, 15 minutes? <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not exactly 15 minutes. Maybe only 15 minutes for you guys, but it took me took me quite some time to do that. But anyways, <laughs> it wasn't that bad though. It really wasn't. It didn't even take that long. We actually got two beacons out of the whole set. So yeah, we can definitely possibly in the future and I've got some plans to actually maybe set this up a little bit better. But yeah, we definitely are going to be able to kind of maybe do this quite quite a bit better in the future and have a lot more than just two beacons per go. So yeah, let me yeah, we got we got some mining to do, guys. <laughs> but it's actually not going to be too long because yeah, we we definitely definitely have a beacon to do it. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And with that haste beacon, the digging wasn't nowhere near as bad. But we do have a massive hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah. And I've kind of, you know, mapped out and measured out the catch tray, which I know looks a little funny. But yeah, we'll probably improve it once I get in the other portals. But that's actually going to be for another episode because we're running pretty close to the end of this one and there's a couple other things I wanted to get taken care of so first of all let me show you that basically digging out that entire like area with with my pickaxes yeah my pickaxes are completely worn down which is actually good because this is actually going to give me the opportunity to kind of check out and i want to see how well my repair shop actually does for these pickaxes so yeah this this actually will be a good way to kind of advertise like hey this is how much it repairs instead of just kind of like levels. I know it does like on average levels, but we can do a better kind of look at like, hey, if this halfway repairs your pickaxe, you know, we'll, we'll do something like that. And maybe even base the price for each uh, 
box for you know how how well it repairs the uh, pickaxes all right and a suggestion made it by super logan utah in the comment section on the last episode of where we kind of built this up he said we should definitely have a storage locker so yeah that that was a pretty good idea so i went ahead and set that up let's see how much xp i can get for this pickaxe wait why is that not working okay so we throw our two diamonds in there get our barrel take out all of the swords take off all of our armor hold our pickaxe in hand and let's mend this pickaxe all right and so that one is about half I would say probably about less than half so that's actually not too bad let's try this again because I really want to kind of get an average and kind of see how well we can actually repair those pickaxes or these tools and because I accidentally hit stop record that's okay I pretty much got everything repaired including the shovel if we take a look the first pickaxe obviously was about a little bit less than half the second pickaxe was pretty much over half same thing with the third and the fourth those were over half and then the shovel I don't know if maybe it's just because of the shovel but the shovel I was able to repair completely so I mean I don't know I think it's pretty good but maybe we should drop the price from two diamonds maybe down to one i'm not 100 percent sure but let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think should we bring the price down to one diamond or should we leave it at two diamonds for basically each repair because i mean that's pretty good and although it kind of averages out and it depends you know i guess on the swords that go in there but i mean it's pretty random it really is there's just an average i don't have an exact on each one it just depends on the enchant on each sword just let me know, what do you guys think? Should we do one diamond or should we do two diamonds? Let me know down in the comments and let's go on to the next thing at hand. And for our final task for today's episode is the comment library. Man, I miss this thing. This place was cool. I really enjoyed it on season zero. So we've got some catching up to do. But don't worry, we're not going to do it all at once. We're actually going to kind of spread it out before and try and get it caught up by episode 10 because we are on episode 8. So first things first episode one nate barnes said love the fact that you shredded your clothes lol you well you know when you row across you know from season zero to season one <laughs> it sure does take its toll episode two c jet loyola said you left a diamond behind in the first area there were actually four diamonds go back no diamonds left behind i don't know why i didn't put that on there left behind there we go. <laughs> and yeah, it just appeared. I thought maybe it's an explanation point. So yeah, uh, I actually did come back. Thank you. I did appreciate that. I did forget it. So yeah, I did come back and actually get it because it's no longer there. <laughs> Episode three, Dragoon0228 says, I love watching redstone and farm builds. I watch tutorials for that stuff all the time. Keep those coming. Man, I love the redstone too, man. That's just kind of like one of my favorite things in Minecraft. If you haven't seen one of my other videos where I did a, a Q and A, basically, I've been a mechanic my entire life and pretty much that's how redstone is for me. Episode four is gonna have to go to Mr. Snowman and he just recently has become a member of Team Bedrock. Well, at least he's been watching all the videos. <laughs> and I will have to say, man, I, you know what? I appreciate you leaving comments on every single video. It really, you know, really excites me. I, I get happy to see people that still watch, you know, videos on a consistent basis, but anyways. Nougats, not nougats. 
golden nougats are golden nougats, man. Doesn't matter how you spell it. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate you watching, Mr. Snowman. That is pretty much all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed episode 8 of Truly Bedrock Season 1. And I'll have to say, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs>